Vancouver Island microbiologist from UVic is part of a team developing a vaccine for syphilis, a potentially devastating and deadly sexually transmitted disease. Thanks to new funding, they're closer than ever. Our Darius Madavi found out why this vaccine is in the spotlight right now, and he's with us. Darius, uh, syphilis, generally a treatable disease. Why is it vital we have a vaccine for it? You're absolutely right. Syphilis is very treatable when caught early. If it's allowed to progress, it can cause irreversible damage. It is treatable with many common antibiotics, including penicillin, yet syphilis cases have continued to climb to the highest level in decades in the U.S. and Canada. And according to Caroline Cameron, a microbiology professor at UVic, a big part of that is due to a decline in condom use. Now, syphilis can be nasty for anyone who catches it and doesn't get treated, but particularly for expecting mothers, because the bacterium, which you can see on the screen there, is one of the few pathogens known to be able to cross the placenta, passing from mother to baby. But really, when it comes to syphilis, the challenges aren't just medical. Stigma plays quite a role in this disease, and so that can lead to people not getting tested, unfortunately, um, not talking about the disease, and really we just need to consider it as a disease and not have that stigma associated with it. Syphilis has been plaguing us quite literally for thousands of years, Darius. Why are we just developing a vaccine now? There are a few big challenges when it comes to studying syphilis or developing a vaccine for it. For one thing, it's just been a really niche field for a long time. Cameron's lab is the only one in Canada studying the bacterium that causes syphilis. But she says new people and new ideas are starting to enter the field. She told me a bit about the exciting work that they're getting up to. Our lab um, focuses upon the bacterium and trying to figure out how it causes infection. And so we use that knowledge to guide our vaccine development strategy. Um, if we understand how the pathogen is causing infection, we can figure out ways to try to inhibit that process through vaccination. Now, uh, when it comes to the bacterium they're studying, the one that causes syphilis, it's a tricky little devil, uh, both for the immune system, fighting it off, and for the people trying to study it in the lab. So the researchers just secured more funding. What comes now? Well, even though Cameron and other researchers uh, have done a lot to, uh, to get towards this, because remember, this is a huge collaborative effort. It's not just Cameron's lab. They've made great strides in developing a syphilis vaccine. It's important to remember that developing a vaccine for a bacterium, especially one as tricky as syphilis, presents unique challenges. Now, unlike a vaccine against a virus, where a single protein usually does the trick, bacteria like syphilis have tricks up their sleeve, swapping out the proteins they use to infect people all the time, which means you need a cocktail of proteins in the vaccine, so your immune system learns to recognize all of them. But as Cameron told me, that presents its own challenges. We know that one, one protein is not gonna be the magic target here. We need multiple proteins in a vaccine candidate. And for an industry partner, the more proteins they have to produce, the more expensive it is. So we wanna just produce a single protein that has this uh, multi, multi function. Luckily, they've developed a brilliant solution. They found one core protein that does a pretty good job of training the immune system, but more importantly, it can be easily genetically modified. So using new technology, they can attach scraps of other proteins so the body learns to recognize them all just based off that one structure. Uh, now, that means that syphilis can't just hide one or two proteins and keep infecting the body. It's a huge breakthrough and a real testament to big collaborative research projects. Darius Madavi, thanks very much for sharing it. Thank you.